Our captivation with royal lifestyles knows no bounds, especially when it comes to those who marry into royalty. Once known as Catherine Elizabeth Middleton, the current Princess of Wales, formerly the Duchess of Cambridge, has called a series of enchanting and beautifully grand residences home over the years. From her upbringing in Berkshire to her student accommodations in St. Andrews and of course the prestigious home she gained access to through marriage to Prince William, Princess Kate has lived in some of the best properties. Most recently in 2022, Prince William and Princess Kate made Adelaide Cottage their new residence. Situated on the grounds of Windsor Castle, this four bedroom house was previously considered for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Dating back to 1831, Adelaide Cottage derives its name from Queen Adelaide, wife of William IV. As a decorated cottage, it boasts a pinkish white stucco exterior adorned with ornamental roof trimmings. Renovated in 2016, it appears unlikely that further modifications are required by the royal couple. Kate Middleton's current residence may be as royal as they come, but her upbringing took place in slightly more modest surroundings in Berkshire. After they wed, Kate's parents Michael and Carol Middleton settled into a two-bedroom home in Bradfield, Berkshire, described by Carol as a very sweet, semi-detached cottage. This was the family's primary residence until Kate reached age 13, providing a backdrop for much of her childhood. During her formative years, Kate briefly resided in Amman, Jordan from 1984 to 1986 due to her father's employment, before returning to Berkshire in 1986. The Middletons now expanded to a family of five with the birth of their youngest, James, in 1987, and they then moved to Oak Acre, situated at the avenue in Bucklebury, Berkshire. Oak Acre boasted five bedrooms and served as Kate's home during her time at St. Andrews University, likely also being the place where she brought Prince William during their courtship. However, the Middletons no longer reside at Oak Acre. Following Kate's marriage to Prince William in 2011, they relocated to Bucklebury Manor in 2012, seeking greater privacy. Much like the portrayal in the media, the Middletons have a fondness for informal dining in their kitchen. In 2017, Carol Middleton expressed her affection for the kitchen in their new residence, describing it as the heart of the home where she enjoys hosting intimate gatherings and even spontaneous kitchen discos. Of course, Kate later lived at Unit 1A of Kensington Palace when she and Prince William got wed. Way back when, Kensington Palace was a two-story mansion built in 1605. Over the centuries, it would house countless members of the royal family, including Queen Victoria when she was still only a child. It was while living at this palace that Victoria met Prince Albert and learned of her own takeover of the throne in June of 1837. When she finally left Kensington for Buckingham, Queen Victoria admitted that she would miss the poor old palace that she had spent so much time in growing up. Now, calling this an apartment is very misleading. Most of Kensington Palace is composed of red brick terrace houses that, while connected, serve as their own fully functioning homes. Apartment 1A, where Kate and William lived after they got married, is a four-story building with 20 rooms, including five reception rooms, three main bedrooms, multiple dressing rooms, a night and day nursery, as well as its very own staff quarters. Not really the apartment you were thinking, is it? Due to this being primarily a private residence, detailed looks at the interior of this home are few and far between. But when former President Obama visited their pad in 2016, a number of pictures were taken that give us a taste of the prince and princess's home life. Their drawing room here was spacious, enough for several guests, and sported a sophisticated cream color scheme with gold accents. Beyond the private apartments, there are some areas of Kensington open for public viewing, and three of the most popular areas are undoubtedly the King's Staircase, which leads up to the King's State Apartments, as well as the Presence Chamber where former monarchs have received courtiers, ministers, and foreign ambassadors. But most impressive of all has to be what referred to as the cupola room, which creates a visual style that personifies the Georgian age. 
Next, let's check out Anmer Hall, Prince William and Princess Keith's summer home. After Kate and William tied the knot in 2011, Queen Elizabeth gifted the couple this country estate, which isn't too far away from where the Queen likes to spend most of her own holidays. After Kate and William tied the knot in 2011, Queen Elizabeth gifted the couple this estate. It's not too far away from where the Queen used to like to spend most of her own holidays at Sandringham House. The current building was constructed in the 18th century and features two stories along with an attic. Out front, the long exterior of the home comprises 13 bays and was refaced with red bricks in 1815. 13 ground floor windows are set into arches and a semicircular porch can be seen with two Tuscan columns. Further renovations that went down in 1900 added a brick exterior to the north of the building and a projecting entrance porch along with a tower towards the east end. Reports suggest the home features as many as 10 bedrooms inside. Prior to recent world events, the family would use this property during school breaks and for weekends as well as holidays. Over the past few years, Kate said she feels the most at home when she was here and the family's even had many photo shoots here. When Kate and William inherited the home, Kate decided to take on the interior decorating challenge herself. Simon Knight, over of a nearby rug store, told People Magazine at the time, instead of hiring a royal interior designer, she wanted to furnish it in her own style because she wants this to be her own family home. A renovation also happened where the roof was completely retiled and a sunlit garden room was added to one side of the house as well as a covered patio for extra privacy and protection from the harsh British climate. To increase their privacy even more, trees were planted all around the property and the driveway was moved so the public entrance was turned into a private one. And as tennis lovers, Prince William and Princess Kate also upgraded their tennis court with all new astro turf and bordered it with a copper beach hedge. Finally, this sprawling Georgian estate also contains its very own outdoor swimming pool and is surrounded by acres of parkland, which makes this property perfect for playtime with the kids. In 2022, Prince William and Kate Middleton made Adelaide Cottage their new residence. Situated on the grounds of Windsor Castle, this four bedroom house was previously considered for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Dating back to 1831, Adelaide Cottage derives its name from Queen Adelaide, wife of William IV. As a decorated cottage, it boasts a pinkish white stucco exterior full of ornamental roof trimmings. The master bedroom showcases gilded dolphins and rope decor, originally from the royal yacht HMY Royal George. There's also a marble Greco-Egyptian fireplace. Renovated in 2016, it appears unlikely that further modifications are needed from the royal couple. Adelaide Cottage emerged as the preferred choice for the couple in their quest for a permanent home to raise their three young children, George, Charlotte, and Louis. While Frogmore House, briefly inhabited by Prince Harry and Meghan, was considered, according to a source, making Adelaide Cottage work seems to be the most suitable and perhaps the only option, considering the challenges with the other properties. Comprising both Adelaide Cottage and Adelaide Lodge, the property stands out as one of the most visually appealing residences on the royal estate. Constructed in 1831 for King William IV's wife, Queen Adelaide, as I mentioned, this property occupies a central position within the Crown Estate's private 655-acre royal park. It features the lodge, a red brick double-fronted structure with imposing chimney stacks. There's also the original cottage boasting a stucco-fronted facade. Designed by architect Jeffrey Wyattville, the house was lauded in a 19th century mirror article as chastely elegant. Notable features include two staterooms, a retiring room for the queen, a servant's quarters, and furnishings from the former royal lot. From looking at Kate Middleton's journey through her homes over the years, we can see that even her modest childhood homes in Berkshire laid the foundation for the woman who would later become a princess. These residences not only reflect her family's journey, but also offer glimpses into Kate's evolving lifestyle, from student life at St. Andrews to her role as a member of the royal family. Through these homes, we can gain insight into Kate's values, her traditions, and the warmth of family life that continues to shape her journey alongside Prince William and their children. Now, before we go, answer this question for me. If you were a royal, which royal residence would you most like to call home? Let me know down in the comments. 
Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.